today is going to be a bit of a different type of video. I'm heading out for a traveler's notebook event um, with my friend Sandy in these journals on Instagram. We are meeting up in Alexandria, Virginia because a stationery store there called Penny Post is having a event um, as part of the traveler's company stamp caravan. I'm really excited and hopefully I can film a little bit and um, just show you around. Stay tuned and hopefully I will be adding in more clips. and just wanted to share the few things that I picked up from Penny Post and then the items that I stamped from the event. Also picked up the latest issue of the Traveler's Time, which is like their company magazine, which you can only receive if you order from travelers.com or if you visit a partner store. I've never had any of these before, so I picked up two. Um, one to keep for memory's sake and then also I've seen people um, use the pages to kind of like decorate file folders within their traveler's notebook. I do have that three fold folder that people usually use. Um, right now it just has like a postcard and stuff but um, they'll usually take out one of the pages and kind of fold it over so that you have a cute little like dashboard insert. Okay, I'm trying to film this again because it got deleted, but these are the items that I purchased from Penny Post. The first item that I picked up was the hard file refill, and it basically has craft paper with these plastic photo sleeves, so you can um, carry business cards, Instax photos, or um, like mini Canon IV photos in there um, but I had intended to use it for um, keeping uh, ink swatching papers so I've seen online that a lot of people um, keep this in their traveler's notebook and I thought it was a great way to kind of organize ink swatches and for keeping um, any photos that I'm going to be journaling with um, I have both an Instax printer as well as a Canon Mini Ivy that I use. So um, I think that'll be a really helpful and convenient uh, insert to have in my traveler's notebook. I wanted to show you how I currently keep some of my ink swatches. This is just a 
card um, folder that I purchased off of Amazon. And I have these um, ink swatching papers that I purchased in London, but it is a Japanese um, paper brand. And they fit in um, perfectly with a business card size um, folder. So rather than keeping everything in here, um, if I'm traveling and I want to see in, like ink samples or something, I don't know, I could keep it in here, which is just a nice more uh, slim and convenient way to carry it. So I think that'll be really nice to have. Well, I purchased this B6 spiral ring notebook. This is the window envelope notebook. And I really like it because it has the clear window as well as a nice secure envelope um, aspect to it. And um, I had seen online that people said this is a great way to organize PET tape samples and strips of PET tape. So I have a lot of those. So I figured this would be a nice way to kind of see everything and then organize it in a more slim book style. So I'm excited to use this. I do have the A6. Um, it's like the vertical version of this pocket spiral ring notebook. And um, I'll show that to you in a little bit. Um, but basically, I use that spiral ring notebook with the pockets um, to organize and carry um, ephemera and papers and sticker sheets and things like that. So this is what I was referencing. This is the A6, I believe, um, paper pocket spiral notebook. And um, this was one of the first things that I stamped at the event. I really like how it came out. As you can see, I just kind of used some of my favorite ones of the stamps that they had and just kind of like stamped them. The Caravan event stamp is so cute and this was a favorite um, among Sandy and I. I just, I loved it. So nice. And really also like the factory one. Some of them, the ink clearly needed to be refilled, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so I really like how this came out and just to give you a look, um, yeah, I keep stickers, sticker sheets and ephemera and things like that for my journal pages um, in here. I find that even like large maps and other like travel papers, they fit really nicely and I like this size because rather than the horizontal pocketbook because it kind of fits nicely when you have like a journal or a traveler's notebook um, all in one. Sandy and I had both seen on Instagram that someone at a different stamp caravan had brought their TN bags, like the, the little bags that your journals come in, and they were stamping it at the caravan event. And we both were like, that is such a cute idea. So. We both did that, and these are the bags that I brought. I brought my regular sized ones, um, and I really like how it came out. Um, even though they were kind of faded because the ink was like running out, I kind of think that it looks, it gives it that worn and rugged look, and it makes sense for traveler's notebooks. So this one, I put all the more like limited edition stamp theme stamps, which I loved those. They're more colorful too. And then this one with the just the traveler's um, stamps. So yeah, I like how that came out and it's kind of like a special thing. Um, so glad I did that. And then in here, I, I just put some of my limited edition set um, refills because this one I was starting as like a music journal and just need to kind of pick that up. So um, there are a lot of unused pages, but I really, this one was my favorite um, themed stamp and it matched with the, the records um, set. So I had to stamp it in here and I think it came out really great. And then I just stamped the Stamp Caravan event stamp in there as well. And it, it came out really well. It was very juicy in the ink so it kind of bled through but I think it looks nice so I just put that in the back of this insert and then the train insert I don't know I I love this um I love this themed set but I didn't really know if I'd actually use these beautiful 
like inserts that it came with, especially the train one. Um, so I just used the um, train stamp and then more of the limited set themed stamps and just stamped the first few pages. And then I ended up deciding, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fill this refill with all the stamps from the event just because I liked all of them and I wanted to have them in one insert. So I um, figured this one would be the best bet to do it in because I didn't really think that I'll actually use it for um, journaling anyways. And it's just such a nice letterpress notebook. So yeah, I think I don't mind using it because honestly, it would probably just sit on my shelf anyways and be blank. So that's it. It took up like a quarter of the journal and then I have the rest to decide on what this will be but um yeah I liked that and then I don't think I stamped that one and I took a few of these um craft folder inserts with me and I kept it in the plastic just because the ink um after we stamped was getting everywhere and I had like a canvas tote bag so I didn't want the stamps to transfer but um yeah just kept it a little bit more simple for a passport size craft folder I really like how this one came out and these two were were um some of my favorite like regular uh traveler stamps from the event yeah I like how that came out and here's another one this is actually a mo term craft insert but it's honestly like pretty similar they're about the same size. They have the same like little indent here where the the bands will go. Um, yeah, you can tell that the Moterm one, the quality of the craft folder is a little stiffer and like just not as good quality. But honestly, for my use, I think it's fine. So I had this lying around, so I figured I'd stamp it. Um, and yeah, just some of my more favorite ones. I just kept it a little more simple. You can also tell because the Moterm has these like little areas and the Traveler's one is just plain, a plain folder. And this is my junk journal insert. So um, I just used a few of my favorite stamps um, from the event. And then I stamped one regular size craft folder. Um, I love how this one came out and because there's a little more space, I just did a few more stamps on each side, just the ones that were um, my favorite or that I feel like the colors fit really nicely. And um, yeah, just stamped the inside too. This is a Moterm one. You can tell by the slits and the color. So these are both Moterm and this is the Traveler's Notebook one. The Moterm is a little bit darker, um, but they're still pretty. I use this a lot, so um, I, I think it came out really nice and yeah, I'm excited to use it. Okay, and this is that insert that I have been using um, to test out the vertical weekly insert, but uh, it's a Moterm insert that I ha had gotten from Amazon. It comes in like a pack of I believe three or four, something like that. Um, but I've been using it to do like daily brief memory keeping and like a little bit more creative journaling. Um, and I was using it because I was thinking about buying the Traveler's Notebook insert for July. That's the dated one. These are undated. Um, so I'll show you. Yeah, so like just doing little brief journaling and using a lot more of my washi and my stickers. It's just, it's been a fun experience and I'm excited to keep it up. I think I will buy the Traveler's Notebook version, but I'm unsure if I'll, I don't know if I want the dated one because this has been fun um, to kind of just work undated. Anyway, I don't know. So I stamped the front of this and then I stamped the back with just the Traveler's Company logo stamp and I think that came out really nicely. Okay, and then I actually stamped one of my Traveler's Notebook 
covers and I didn't think I would do this but I was um, inspired because Sandy was um, stamping like she had a leather wallet that she was stamping and then she stamped her um, beautiful I believe it was a camel brown um, cover and so you know I was like you know what I'm gonna do it so I stamped the inside of my blue regular one and I just use these three in the front and I think it came out really nice it was a little harder because I had to pick either the black ink stamps or the like bluish stamps in order for it to come out but it um I'm pretty impressed with the way it came out and then I just picked the records one because I love that one and the, a blue stamp there I'm actually really happy that I did it because I think it just looks really unique and it's, now it's a special cover for me um and this one my husband had gotten for me in Japan when he went um on a work trip recently so um yeah I I love it and I just love this color um for my collection thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this vlog style video and um, hopefully I'll be going to a few more um events meetups and possibly the pen show in dc this august so let me know in the comments below if you like vlog style videos and hopefully i'll be filming a few more in the near future thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video